Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have a ton of new gameplay to get through as well as full details on all of the new features coming to both the 2K Showcase and My Rise thanks to a new episode of the Ringside Report. Before we dive into that though, for those that have yet to see it, I'll play the full showcase in my Rise trailer first, then I'll share some brand new gameplay from both modes and we'll go over all of this year's new features. Not every road is paved with gold, and mine was no different. I was always ready to prove that I had the ability to not only become a champion, but to go down in history as one of the greatest superstars of all time. I'm here to be the best I can be. Who do I need to impress? Even have to ask, you know I'm picking Sasha. So that's the official reveal trailer for the 2K showcase and my rise, but we're not done there as alongside the trailer we also have some brand new gameplay which you can see playing in the background as well as new details on each mode. So let's start things off with the 2K showcase as in the latest episode of the Ringside Report, WWE creative director Lionel Jinx and art director Christina DM Pham were joined by the lead designer of the 2K showcase Dino Zaccone. Speaking on the showcase mode in general, Dino talked about how in its simplest form, showcase mode pays homage to sports entertainment, whether that's the biggest matches, the most intense rivalries, or the greatest superstars of all time. This year, the 2K showcase follows the story of Rio Mysterio, with the mode featuring some new elements woven into the gameplay, which allow players to experience even more of the match with the use of live action footage from the WWE archive. This works by seamlessly transitioning from gameplay to archive footage as upon completing objectives, players will still see a cutscene begin to play out as normal, however there's a point in the cutscene where the gameplay will transition over to real world footage. Accompanying this is voiceover from Rey Mysterio himself, as Rey will guide you through the action before cutting back to gameplay. In terms of objectives, this year sees the objectives take on a much simpler form, as rather than require players perform a specific move, a lot of the objectives only require light or heavy attacks, which given the addition of the combo system makes for a much needed change, otherwise players would be forced to keep pausing the game to check how to perform a specific move. Also new from a design aspect is the colour of the objective tab, as players will see the objective overlay change between matches with the colour of the display being related to Ray's attire. As in past years, players can decide whether they want to follow the objectives or ignore them, as if you don't want to complete the objectives, you can still play the match as normal and then win to progress to the next, however completing all of the objectives will allow you to unlock additional content such as new arenas, superstars and attires. In between matches, players will also be able to watch sit-down interviews with Mysterio, as Ray will introduce each of the matches in the showcase. Sharing a little behind-the-scenes info, showcase lead designer Dino Zaccone noted that they asked Ray to dress up in a suit for the interview segments, as they wanted to try and capture the classic look of the classic Lucha Libre promos from the early 60s and 70s. So that's a little bit on the new features to showcase and some behind the scenes notes, but what about the matches? Well, as you can see from the footage playing in the background, the Ringside Report gameplay features five matches. We have Rey Mysterio vs Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam 2009, Rey Mysterio vs Eddie Guerrero at WrestleMania 21, Rey Mysterio vs Batista on the December 18th 2009 episode of SmackDown, Rey Mysterio vs The Undertaker at the 2010 Royal Rumble, and then lastly we have Rey Mysterio vs Eddie Guerrero at WCW Halloween Havoc. We can also add Rey Mysterio vs Kane from Cyber Sunday 2008 to that list, as that was shown off in the first episode of the Ringside Report, with that match taking the total number of confirmed matches to 6. 
As for any others, real footage shown during the report also features Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania 25, therefore there's a good chance that we may see Rey's match with JBL for the Intercontinental Championship as JBL was recently announced for the roster. So that's all of the new info regarding showcase mode, but we're not done just yet, as the second half of the ringside report turned the focus over to another of this year's new game modes, My Rise. For the My Rise portion of the video, Lionel Jinx and Christina DM Pham were joined by senior narrative designer Andrea Listenberger, story designer Cortimo Marquez, and senior designer Chris Schroyer. In this segment, the My Rise developers shared a list of 10 features, the first of which noted that this year players will have the option to choose to play as part of the WWE Women's Division or the WWE Men's Division, as for the first time in the 2K series, the male and female paths are completely separate and both come with their own unique storylines. Chris Schroyer then went on to reveal that players will start out learning from the very best in the WWE Performance Center, where they'll be able to really define their character based off the choices that they make, before then going on to compete on either Raw, SmackDown or NXT, with players also having the option to switch brands and move to a different show. Kotimo then added that whether you play as a hero or a villain, you're always at the center of your story where you can choose the path that you take and decide if you want to change that up by switching between being a heel or a face. Andrea also offered up more info on the available choices as she noted that players will be able to select the order that they play certain storylines and challenges. Giving us new information on the character backgrounds, Andrea showed off some of the available choices, but these including options for an MMA background like Shayna Baszler, an indie wrestling background like Shotzi, or a pro athlete background like Roman Reigns. Depending on the background that you choose, not only will your choice affect your story and how characters interact with you, but it will also give you different stats boosts in certain areas such as the pro athlete receiving a boost in agility, body durability and grapple offense. Going back to the MMA option, one interesting thing to point out here is the list of notable MMA superstars in WWE, as this list includes a mention of Zia Lee, despite the fact that she isn't included on the game's roster. Due to the differences in player backgrounds and the choices that you make throughout the story, Chris revealed that My Rise will feature over 1,000 playable matches. Also revealed were the addition of 9 unique arenas, which once unlocked, players can then use in other modes. Of the 9 unique arenas, the video went on to reveal 2 of these, as we have the return of the Mexico Plaza, as well as an updated version of the Japan Hall. As for voiceovers, Andrea confirmed that My Rise will feature voiceover from more than 30 WWE superstars, including WWE legends Shawn Michaels, Beth Phoenix and Edge, as well as current stars including Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn, Sonya Deville and Drew Gulak. Sharing more information on the available choices, Chris noted that everyone's playthrough will be different, as not only will players be able to choose a background and a starting class, but there's also a ton of choices throughout the story, as players can choose to start rivalries or go after certain superstars, all of which will lead to a unique experience from player to player. Also exclusive to My Rise is the addition of over 3,000 lines of new commentary featuring Michael Cole, Byron Saxton and Corey Graves. As for how long the mode is, Andrea noted that My Rise will feature over 50 hours of gameplay. So that's all of the new information coming out of the latest episode of the Ringside Report, which I have to say does sound pretty impressive, especially with regards to My Rise, as the amount of choices and the storylines that they lead to is an insane amount, and that should keep players coming back to this mode for years to come. So that's my thoughts on the new details, but let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're there, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos, as I'll have a lot more content coming your way very soon. Until then though, thank you so much for watching this video. Have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.